rock, paper, scissors. What is that? A shark. A shark? <laughs> it's an eat paper. No, 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 no. Rock, paper, scissors, soup. Woo! What is that? A whale. A wh there's a whale in rock, paper, scissors? Mm -hmm. After leaving Sedona, we decided to head up into Utah. Usually when we come to this area, we stay on Lake Powell, but this time we decided to hit Kanab, which we have always wanted to stop and enjoy. We booked a really cool one night stay at Dark Sky RV Park. Oh, it's bright right there. You got a sticker? Dark Sky, one happy camper, five billion star camper. That's a really cool site. Okay, so we just got to the Dark Sky RV Park. This is our site, how cute is it? Isn't it cute, Jonah? It's so cute. Zachary, this is such a cool site. Yes. Well, that was entertaining. <laughs> Out of all of our kids, Taryn is definitely our most cautious child. Uh, she's not always on board with zip lines, but she did it. <laughs> and then this happened. Don't worry, Zachary was just fine. He just was going a little bit faster than Jason expected. Jude was filming and I was actually taking these photos at the moment that you could see Jason lost contact. Anyway, it was fun. Hi, Duder. Hi. We're just sitting out here, enjoying this view, appreciating our life choices right now. <laughs> we were just saying not everybody gets to do this. Yeah. We'll be here on this day and how incredible it is. It's beautiful here. Yeah. I wish we were staying more than one night. Me too. Beautiful. What do you see out there? Nothing. What does it look like? It's pretty. It's pretty? Yeah. That one out in front of you is the room. I know. It's right there. So many stars. Oh. Zachary, which star is your favorite? Um. That one? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. The bright one? Yeah. Yeah. It's very bright. The North Star? Yeah. That one's your favorite? Yep. Yeah. There. Let's see. There's a few bears. I think I see Scorpio. There's a lion. There's a guy who has a bow and arrow. There's a dragon. It just looks like stars upon stars upon stars. Mm -hmm. Like the northern light, it protects us. We should go. We should go see the northern lights. Oh, I would love that. So guess what? That one. Oh look, there goes another shooting star. That, that one, one is a planet that's so far away that people haven't even been there yet. Which one's a planet? Mars. What? Where's it at? Over, right. over, over here. I see it. A slightly more orange-looking one. Um, oh, really? Yep, Mars so. is bright tonight. That's so cool. I think 
we get Saturn during the summer, that's one of like the three. Things. You're supposed to be able to see Venus tonight too. Yeah. Maybe it's yeah. another orange looking one. That is the whole galaxy. Wow. That's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stars and planets. And I heard stars. they are shooting rocks, flaming shooting rocks. Yeah. No. So you know what stars are? <laughs> flaming farts. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's technically true. <laughs> I already flaming know. gas. And buddy, did you know that there's a little planet out there that's made entirely of diamonds? Yes. There is, yeah. Is it, is it, is it, is yeah. like, that's not, what's the name of it? I forget the name of it, but I found, I, uh, yeah, it's made completely out of diamonds. Z, do you know who made all the stars? I don't know. I guess. I don't know. Who made all the stars? I don't know. Just make an honest guess. You don't have to know, just guess. Who do you think made all the stars? Jesus. Oh, you're right. Really close. <laughs> you're, really, you're really close. You're so sweet. It was Jesus' dad. Yeah. God made all the heavens and all the stars. Yeah. See. So he made this ground. And you. And you. And he made all the stars. And all and the everything the beyond them. And all the people in the world. And you see every sunrise and every sunset. He made all of that. I already knew. Do you know how knew. long it took him? One week. It took him seven days. Yeah. It took him six days and then he rested. Yep. Technically. You're very smart, Z. I think he... Some people definitely deserve a rest. I'll call that one. Def he definitely deserved a rest after <laughs> creating the whole universe in six days. It's a lot of work, dude. <laughs> I'd want a nap. Maybe a snack, too. <laughs> always thinking about food, that dude is. Not always. Dude, it's always <laughs> if you were God, you'd want a snack? <laughs> Whew, that Utah really wore me out. I think I need some cheese. <laughs> Give me a beef stick. I just created Yellowstone. <laughs> Actually, I want some tacos. <laughs> These moments stargazing with my kids are just so precious to me. When I got up the next morning, I immediately spotted Zachary and Jude outside having breakfast together, and it was just the sweetest moment. Zachary really wanted to have dinner outside, but the bugs were too bad, so I wasn't surprised that breakfast was outside. We really love this campground and we wish that we could stay longer. Uh, they have some really cool amenities here. Between the zip line and the kids area, there's a bone dig with bones that they've actually found on property. You can also rent bikes, rent Jeeps. There's a million things to do in Kanab and we really wish we could stay. We definitely want to come back. We would highly recommend Dark Sky RV Park. It's such a cool spot. If you're ever in the Kanab area, check them out. For now, we are off to Capitol Reef National Park, the last of the big five national parks that we have not been to yet. And uh, we're gonna have two stops on this travel day. We are gonna go and have two adventures on the next travel day. So stay tuned for that.